a great example in terms of both visual design and game design is the Covenant from Halo. Because it took me actually a while and having to go read the backstory to understand that the Covenant was actually, uh, like you were mentioning, like a union of different factions. Mm-hmm. So, so the Grants were one nation, the Roots were another nation, and the Elites were another nation, and, and that sort of stuff. But uh, the artists actually found a cohesive visual direction to give all of them like a common theme so that uh, the, the first few Halos that I played, I, I didn't even know that they were a series of sub-factions. I, I just thought they were basically one single faction that had multiple races. And th- that is a, a great example of how you can make all of them look different, but still give them a cohesive team. Because, I mean, a Grant and a Brute have nothing in common, except a few cues that, that you basically have the co- the Covenant aesthetics. So if you give a little bit of the Covenant aesthetics to each of, of the different designs, they start to become unified, particularly when, when you get into colors as well. And, True. And... Uh, and the major volumetric shapes, because the government, the government all have those like uh, more sleek, more r- rounded shapes, and, and then uh, they all always had that that unique look where the their armor was sort of reflective, but also changing a little bit in color when they reflected and and had like the re- reflective hexes as well. So they managed to make them look uh, different and yet. Uh, cohesive, which is a hard thing to do. I yeah, I would agree. But they Halo has the benefit that the very first Halo Combat Evolved really right. only had four factions. When you look at the Flood and the Forerunners as well, and yeah. basically anything that appeared alien was Covenant, and it was really easy to be like they're all Covenant. Um, yeah, and then I think they much more developed the lore as the the other installments continued things became locked in with the release um but you are you're right they all have they they all do feel the same enough that you don't question it you don't you're not like well these are very different well they're they're covenant of aliens okay sure yeah but i mean just look at them if you take a, a phantom which is like that that covenant flyer and you take the ghost, which is that that, that like a really cool like small hover hover bike thing. And and you take the the armor on the back of Grunts or the armor of the elites. It all has the same shader with the same color with the same reflectiveness and all that. And that really helps unify the entire thing, even though the aliens themselves are all different sizes, and different mm. uh, uh, looks and all that. Right. But. Again, that that is, for example, a, a materials and and a color thing. So, how how do you how do you translate that when you are actually talking about just uh, unpainted shapes? Okay, so the covenant have like rounded platings and rounded shapes and more bulbous designs. Okay, that takes care of the volumetrics, so they all sort of look the same. Uh, they they look cohesive. And then they all have carry around the the same weaponry. Right. So you put together all these different elements that that make what is essentially like four or five different different looking factions feel like they are one single faction. And Halo did have the benefit of of having like the the, the covenant were the enemies, right? And and they made the wise decision with the flood as well because the flood weren't just zombies that that almost looked like the regular people that were running around they, they be, the, the flood actually looked a lot like i don't know plant monsters come to life which made them look again really different from the rest right yeah even 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 though you also had different kinds of aliens and humans in uh, as flood forms yeah and they had a very um, when you when you look at it from analyze it from a developer perspective, the fact that they created an entire third faction that was just visually the corrupted versions of assets you already have, yeah, 
um, but you made the play style, their their interaction with the players, very different. So they entirely felt like an entire separate entity. They don't feel the same as anybody else. Um, it, it's a it's a very creative way to not have to go and design an entire third alien race, uh, whether it was robots or something that was like, okay, that's that's their thing. Granted, the forerunners kind of fill the, the the robot side, but yeah. um, each felt very unique. You didn't feel like I'm fighting the exact same thing. Now, whether or not you felt like that as you kept playing the levels is one thing, but as far as visually, they were very, very separate. Yeah, I mean, you had the the bungee trope of uh, okay, you you have the level now. You're going from A to B, and the next level is going from B to A. <laughs> <laughs> the the library in in the first sale is is a good example of that yeah um, uh, and you you mentioned the, a very common trope in these sorts of games and and science fiction actually which is to basically have like uh, reusing reusing assets or reusing the concepts and 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 have a new faction that is basically corrupted corrupted versions of of the factions you already have and the ultimate example is of course zombies. What's it? Do you want to create a, an enemy for humans? Just just have zombies. They are zombie humans. Yeah. Um, and and they, they with this they, they actually took it a little a, a step further. And Mass Effect also ended up doing sort of the same with Mass Effect Three when you you started having all the different uh, aliens as husk versions. I don't know if you remember that. Yes. Yeah, I do. Uh, and and in, so in the third game, you had uh, Turian husks and you had uh, Asari husks and, and they sort of started to look like uh, really different, but still somewhat recognizable, but they played entirely different from, from the regular aliens, basically. Mm-hmm. 